I never know what to say whenever I get on these things. <laughs> Other than we worked really hard today <laughs> and I want to take you all on a tour. And um, we have our first two tenants moving in. Uh, they're getting and or building their tiny homes, but lots of interest and I really appreciate y'all sharing the videos. Let the garden begin. <laughs> this is the middle road, also known as Old Creek Road. <laughs> um, I'm having Connex boxes delivered to convert into tiny homes. And my middle sites are complete with uh, all their utilities now. They just don't have their gravel pads yet. So I think instead of throwing gravel under these Connex boxes, like I was gonna do over there, I'm just going to save that material cost and put my Airbnbs in the center here. There's gonna be about four or five of them. Now I'm gonna go turn around and take you down the real Old Creek Road. That's the Old Creek that we filled in. It was a dry creek and it's so pretty. We are still under construction. Those two lots right there are gonna be for my mom and Dewana, our first two tenants. And then this one over here on the end, I hate to be selfish, but I think it's mine. Um, it's going to back up to right there. It's a community garden. And then uh, what I would say, the, the hammock grove and gardens begin back there. But this is the right side as you come in. And this will probably be... <laughs> We've still got some tree trimming to do. But this is wild Texas, still, except for every once in a while. We have a little baby trying to thrive. Oh, and I think I burnt it in the late sun trying to water. Because I don't think it looked like that earlier. Shame on me. There's a lot of garden to take care of already. Wait till you see all this. I just love this little walkway right here. I'm just quiet on the edge. Lots of bugs. Don't mind the weeds and the, will it focus on it? The devil's ivy. <laughs> it's an adventure. <laughs> it's an adventure. I saw these for sale today <laughs> at a local grower. <laughs> And I'm so glad that I didn't cut down so much of what's here. And then over here, I can't wait till it gets big. This is a candy cane striped plumeria. It got fresh mulch today. Live, BB. And then to the right here is like a pollination field that's going to stay that way. And there's not a whole lot in bloom, but look at all those seeds. It's the daisies. And there's sunflowers, all kinds of stuff in here. I love coming just standing amongst the bees while they're so busy working in there. And our first schoolie conversion, that's a friend of mine's. It's gonna be up for rent soon. This is a little grove on the way to the pond. We'll walk out there in a minute. I want y'all to see the front, the flower beds that we made. But this is what I call the kids jungle gym. And Steve Graham saw my vision and helped carve all of this out. <laughs> Casey made us a bench. We got to repair. But man, can't you just see the kids climbing? And we're not done yet because these two over here, there's this perfect little sitting tree that you can read in. <laughs> That's what I call it. It's leaning completely sideways back there. You see that big old thing back there? We gotta clear some more, but it goes from there. And it's this little branch just coming out there begging you to sit and read a book on it. <laughs> Maybe I am making it my version of Alice in Wonderland. Come sit and read a book in a tree. It's 
So these two on the end are um, two of our smallest sites that are for rent. So these are 325, not much yard. You know what, I would probably do 300 on that one. It's just tiny, in my opinion. I wanna be able to step out and have a yard and you will have a picnic table, but it'll be at the back. You got about another 12 feet back there. But then you back up to the grove. I think it kind of makes up for it. There's a little bit of room around back for a picnic table too. I like that one. It's private, right next to the <laughs> pond. And the one that I'm standing in, and all these sites have banana trees and stuff like that. We gotta wait on it to grow, y'all. All in God's good timing. And the sunsets, oh my gosh, I love this. And then this is the other one right next to it. And I believe these are, let's see, I've redone these numbers so many times. We'll just call this one seven and six. I think that's gonna make the most sense because I'm gonna have a little half convex up front. But this one right here has a huge front yard. Like your property line is back here in the sunflowers. Oh, and by the way, my neighbor has a beautiful pond, so your views are awesome. <laughs> we gotta maintain privacy though. We're working on that one with some bamboo growth over here. But this one has a huge front yard. And this one is for 375. And we're gonna put picnic tables and uh, a fire pit out here with all reclaimed, recycled materials. I love the trees on this one. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. And we've got some palms growing over here and some sage. We just put out flowers. We need more mulch. <laughs> and another palm. It's going to take so long for these palms to get big, though. They're babies. <laughs> yeah, so that's a big front yard right there. And you see the banana trees in the row down through there. And then that's where the bamboo starts. And then these two, um, they have extra parking, actually, but small yards. Like this one is tiny. This one is for 325 and two parking places. And yeah, I'll put the site numbers in later, y'all. <laughs> and then this one has a nice big yard too. Not as big as some of them. This one is a 350. And this is why you'll see you've got plenty of room up front right out. That tree is going to be trimmed back a little bit, and I will remove it if I need to, if it's in a doorway or something. But I'm going to see if I can save it. <laughs> and I just, oh, street lights. Yeah. No cars broken into here. I can't wait to see these flowers grow. <laughs> So this one here, your parking is to this side and this side, and then all of this, it's always over to the next meter pole, is your front yard. This one is a 375 lot, and I'll show you why. We just put all these in today. Y'all, I'm so excited about this one. Isn't it pretty? It's called a snow rose, and it becomes a bush between two feet high and four feet high and two feet Two feet by four feet or two feet by four feet, yeah. They're not mothers of millions. I call them mothers of hundreds because they're slow growing, but I can't wait till those take hold. And a little color, and check this out. This is why we leave the wildlife. It's a passion fruit. Yay, don't go weed eating through everything. And this is called a black and blue sage. And it gets to be three feet wide and five to eight foot tall. So it's gonna bring in some privacy in between these. And so will the banana trees too, time. But this is all still that same lot. Yeah, we still got some clearing to do in the middle. There's some brushwork. That's why we all got help too. Wow.
So I'm standing at the back of the yard for that one. That's a really big lot. And that's because these are corner lots too. See, this is the one right beside it. And they have all the way to the pole back there. This is a huge lot right here. And I have the best neighbor ever. We're working on um, just trying to make sure that him and his family have their privacy and we can go on doing what we're doing too. So this will take three to five years, but it will be structural bamboo. Oh, piece of trash. Being on the road. Oh! <laughs> I love it, love it, love it, love it. Squirrel, squirrel, ADHD, what? Ah! There is something blooming here year round. I love this place. Check this out. <laughs> and this is what nature provides. I can't wait to gather some of them seeds and shake them all over. Oh, where's the yellow ones? Yes. <laughs> a friend of mine said this was seen like backstage at a concert or something, all the poles lined up there. But this is the backside of the five acres, the road frontage. And we try and be earth friendly and reuse everything we can. And let's face it, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. I want plants to be growing in most of this. <laughs> So, this is a huge corner lot right here. It is roadside, but it includes this little picnic grove here. Banana trees and some plumerias. And then you begin to see the utilities. So it's this right here. And we just put uh, two plum trees back here too. They're doing really good. Ooh wee, our, our trees and medicinals and shareables. This is the front of the property, y'all. This is Adolfo. Squirrel. Yeah, check out that sunset. <laughs> and we just put in these beds today. Did they get watered? Oh no! I think they did, but I better double check. Thank you, Sue McCulley, for all of the donations. Um, so many donations from Fiesta Gardens. That is one of them. That's going to be a big palm. And it has suffered through me. And the same thing with these, I don't know the name. I think they're called cast iron lilies. I think that's why I remember it. Or something to that effect. I was planting petunias today, thinking about my grandma, my nanny. Yeah. This also came from Fiesta Gardens from Sue. It's a fern. I don't remember what kind. It's a little prickly, but I'm trying to keep soft things in our gardens. And this is the entrance. It's kind of mimicked on the other side. And our signs are coming in in two weeks. I'm so excited. That side's almost ready to go. I'd say it's a strong 85% complete. And we just grass seeded our dog park, which is on top of the subject leach field. So it should be nice and green. And then we have our orchard along the outskirts of it to help soak up some of all those nutrients from all of us. <laughs> That's gonna be the dumpster pad right there just past the dog park. <laughs> Convenient, right? And I love these flower beds that are going in. We still are working on, um, yes, the railroad ties. They're gonna be really nice when we're done. It just takes a lot of uh, man labor and woman labor. <laughs> and this is the center right here in the middle. That is going to be a bath and shower house with uh, um, two sets of washer and dryer in there too. So I'm excited about that. That's uh, coming soon to a park near you. And I stopped using these tires. Y'all tell me what you think. 
These have been in here about 18 months. If I weeded them, they'd do better. But for a long time, I didn't feel like they got enough water, like the heat was too much or something. But they're finally starting to grow. Check that out. Yeah, that came from David Edwards' mama, Ella Bell. And these are from Fiesta Gardens too. So we're halfway through the five acres here, which means there's a lot left to explore out there. And I did that on purpose, y'all. <laughs> okay, so there's the, the nature walk and the Old Creek Road and the front circle, okay? So all these sites right here on the left as you come in, <laughs> that's perfect for a sunset view. They're just that far from the pond overlook. And I can't wait to put this big old tractor tire swing up. So anybody who wants to come volunteer with some chain or rope, I don't know. I kind of want to do it sideways like a hammock. Exciting. And it might look like that we have trash laying everywhere, but these are getting ready to be repurposed into, um, upright beds. We're gonna lay them on their side and hopefully put some primer on them because I don't like chemicals leaching into my food. Hmm. <laughs> Here's the tree swing. And this tire swing was here when we started carving in the woods and that is how this became. The swing tree. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see some vegetation on our banks. It's starting to fill in. The cattails are coming. And I've got some lilies um, and some irises to go in. Do you hear that? Oh, Skeeter. Do you hear that? The tree frogs and you can walk all the way around the pond <laughs> we're gonna put in a dock over here on this side and a little ramp to walk kayaks in and out yeah any donations for stock in this pond will be appreciated it has to be uh, brackish water, so I'll take all your redfish <laughs> as if you don't want to eat them. <laughs> I am not lying. I will take your redfish, please. <laughs> I can't wait to be just casting a line in and pulling out a redfish for dinner. Come on now, y'all. So that's the front where my camper is. That's phase two. That's going to be the community center. That's the hammock garden where the music's coming from. <laughs> That's where the hooligans hang out. <laughs> and then everything in this whole area between the pond, we have a little resource area here that have been from donations and hard work. Um, we harvested this from Fiesta Gardens, Sue McCulley, and also the starts up front that are now growing so that one day we will have our own harvest. Thank you, Sue, for teaching a man how to fish, not just giving him a fish. And uh, just miscellaneous <laughs> reclaim wood. It looks kind of slim pickings over here on the new side, right? But watch this, y'all. Watch this, first of all. Mulch, free mulch, free mulch. I haven't bought mulch yet in all these gardens. We do need more though or I need a better wood chipper because the one that I got will not do oak, evidently. It's a, it's a thing. God love Texas oak. 
Uh, some extras. Yep. I'm not going to explain that right now, but it wasn't that expensive and it never can hurt. We're going to use those to build compost bins right here that we can turn with the tractor. And that is Franklin's Playhouse <laughs> for now. He's going to turn it into a little uh, general store, if you will. Franklin's General Store. And Casey's making benches. Yay! Can you hear the birds? And these are our natural resources that I would not let them bury or ground up. These were downed in a hurricane or something like that. Uh, they were dead and down. Um, I'm really excited to watch them become part of our construction. You know, I see beautiful beams and, and everything like that in there. Skeeters are eating me up. Same thing here, y'all. Our garden grows. I just pruned it a little bit. I ate that seed. Thank you, Carol Ann. <laughs> this is from Chance from his compost. I got two of them. No, the other one's from the compost. Yes, Chance. Look at that new growth. Oh, man, it's doing great. Oh, my avocado tree, not so much. It looked like this whenever I put it in the ground, so I'm waiting to see what it does, and I will take any advice that you can on this poor little sick pup. It's, I've had it for, I just, it's the third time I repotted it, man. It just doesn't seem to get enough nutrients. I've neem oiled everything. I, I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I have three trees now. This one, and that one right there are lemon trees. There's a pear tree up front, right? I have three left. So I uh, was helping a friend of mine's mom with her plants and stuff. Um, and this was just a pot. Ooh, let me get away from the music. That she didn't want anymore. And I could tell it had some grapevine in it. It was pretty thick. And I pulled that out. But it, um, skeeters are getting me all but it um, looked like something else was growing in there, right? So this thing has come to life and died so many times with me, like three, no less. And so finally I took it out of that pot and uh, I put it in two separate big five gallon buckets. And after two years with me, first of all, I didn't know it was two plants. It was two solid different trees growing in that same little thing because you never plant just one seed, you plant two, right? Yeah. One for you and for one for someone else, right? But anyway, um, it's lovely to watch them being in their natural habitat and doing so well. I've never grown lemon trees. I've never lived this far south. So help me with my avocado tree though. And it doesn't end y'all, you can keep walking. Uh, man, I love the smell of the flowers. They're better than Jasmine. This is a stage backdrop. We are going to actually <laughs> put it up there in the trees, like from the movie Mud, like it was placed there by a hurricane. <laughs> just for, we're gonna put it in the trees just for giggles, just so you can go sit and read a book, play a game of cards, hang out in a tree, like a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> so you can get to the pond a couple different ways. Um, this is what I am calling my little nature preserve back here is something that's moving quite large out there and wiggling the leaves a little more than I expected. Is that just the breeze? Ah, it is. It's also one of the reasons I like it back here. It's a little bit on the hilltop. Oh man, I, I wish you guys could feel the breeze that just kicked up. Um, but I'm gonna leave this wild, natural Texas. We're not gonna be doing any planting back here. We will be doing trimming and seeding from like natural wildflowers and stuff like that. But a lot of this has gotten so choked out. Like, can you see that big palm back there? Yeah, so we're gonna expose some of this. Here's another one right on the edge. And this is another little walking trail. Although this part right here 
may end up being Amanda's two-story connex. That way I can overlook oh, the most precious, beautiful view out here. It still takes my breath away. It's a little wetland and some RV parks over there. But if I point my camper that direction, <laughs> I am a little bit stingy through this. I've got a lot of hard work in here. And I know that uh, my cup is full whenever I come up here. It feeds my soul. So I know I'll be here a lot. And this is the back way to the pond. <laughs> Mind the devil's ivy creeping down from the trees. At your own risk right now. It's still wild, Texas. We haven't tried to uh, tame all of it just yet. Little bites, little bites, y'all. What a pretty view. Yeah. I want to build a tree house back here. It doesn't end, y'all. It's so precious. I just want to share it. This part of Texas doesn't sting and bite so much. I haven't found the first sticker here, so y'all make sure you wipe your feet, okay? Did you hear me? <laughs> I have not found the first sticker here, so y'all make sure you wipe your feet, okay? <laughs> it's the only pine tree on the property. <laughs> I guess I can take you back around this side of the pond. This is the back way to get to the pond, and mine you set. See, I sunk a little bit. It's got some clay, a little wetland left to it, and big trees. I love the big trees. Oh, roadblock. <laughs> yeah, I need some tractor work done. <laughs> All right, coming soon. Check out that sunset. Okay, we're going around the other way. Doo -doo. Hello, pine tree. Do, do, do. Ooh, Skeeter. They are bigger in Texas. That's a pathway. We're not going that way. We're going to go this way. <laughs> There's another way, too. And another way there. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it will become. Dude, the frogs here. They yell when they jump in the water. <laughs> I was missing the best part. Oh, that's the American Beauty, American Beauty Berry. Yeah, I saw both of those plants at the nursery today. I'm so glad I was smart enough to not buy them. Thank you, Father. I don't know if it makes me a little stingy, but I try and keep our prized gems in a place where everybody can enjoy it, um, especially the community garden and the medicinal gardens and the sages and things like that. They're all within arm's reach if you're walking around the park. Yes. Um, there are rules about harvesting, especially in the first three to five years. Um, but that's why we'll have a vegetable garden and other things. And I'm really excited about it. But here's some of my prize gems. So this is the hammock grove. Let me back up here a little bit. And this is also where the community center will be. Um, we have transplanted what I call outdoor carpet that I'm trying to get to take over here. Uh, and then we have all these little beds and I want to add a lot more hibiscus. I have to get better at starting them. Carolyn, I need some lessons. Uh, these are the lilies from Mike Warren and Tara and Scott. Yeah. I can't wait to watch them bloom. Like I said, my prizes are in the back. Oh my goodness. And this is a plumeria that David Edwards donated. 
And those are from Fiesta Gardens too. And I, and I pulled them up by a few shovelfuls, all real shallow roots. I don't know what this is. Y'all can help me identify it. It's right here. But look at these little shoots that it's putting out. Oh my gosh, they're so lovely. <laughs> And I believe that this is called Made of Orleans, maybe, or Made of Oregon, something like that. It's a pretty white smelling flower. Still growing. Everything will be still growing for a while. But over here we have blackberries. A few healthy sprigs on it. It should be hardy through winter. It's this year's transplant, so we'll wait and see what happens. I'll trim it back. And this was a wild palm that we pulled up front. And let me tell you, these wild palms, they have a pretty big root system and it's hard to transplant them, but um, that one is still alive. Still alive. Ooh, we just put these in today. <laughs> those are donations off of a big old mama ala somebody gave me a while back years ago oh the fig i bought definitely and so did i the ginger <laughs> my neighbor's a jackass not my real person neighbor he's lovely <laughs> But I do love having the donkeys and the horses and the goats next door. They keep me laughing. Oh my goodness, my raspberry, it's not doing very well at all. But that's a jasmine ground cover. And it should take up that bed so that fig can have some cover too. We ate the first fruit off it the other day. This is going to be our community garden back here where the bird bath is. And this, it's a white bird of paradise, also from Fiesta Gardens, and it will grow as big as those two trees almost are wide. Yeah, and it will fill in that space. And then a gazebo on the other side. <laughs> and then this, you can still watch the band from the gazebo is the plan. Da -da -da -da. Overlook the hammock grove. <laughs> yeah. And then over here will be some raised beds. Everything over there, maybe a little greenhouse too. I even thought how nice it would be because I got a little corner over there in the woods I could carve out to put like a little bathhouse back here too as part of phase two. And then we have another aloe that was donated. This was from my friend Terry on the island. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. And I'm gonna pull some of its pups or maybe even the mom right before the freeze because I don't wanna lose it. We shall see. It's a different uh, species than the green ones that I have. I love the blues and pinks in it. <laughs> My aloe was in bloom today. Big one and uh, we transplanted about a year's worth of pups, <laughs> skeeters, and um, it might not bloom, <laughs> but it was doing so healthy. It was the perfect time to transplant all the rest of them, and I can't wait to see if everything lives through one winter.